I wish for some epic Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Huh? What's this? Epic Yu-Gi-Oh cards from Wish? What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're gonna be opening some cards that I bought from Wish, yeah. So I wished that I had some epic Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And what better place to go than Wish? Okay, that's a joke, obviously. Wish is, we don't know. I don't know what Wish is gonna be like. So I went on to wish.com and I decided, you know what, let's buy some Yu-Gi-Oh cards because I've seen some crazy things come from Wish. Like, you buy from Wish and you either get something awesome or you get like a complete knockoff that's super cheap. So I decided let's spend a few dollars on Wish and see what we get. I think I spent like $38, so I didn't spend too much and I bought a 200 card lot. Let's see if we can find any actually good cards in this lot. But before that, we do have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away these three original print cards. Just like the video, be subscribed. And let me know if you enjoyed this video. And let me know if you want to see us try this again with maybe spending more. Because I only spent $38. Maybe if we spend like $200 or $500, something crazier would happen. If we don't get anything great out of here, maybe we do get something great and we would try and get, you know, more great stuff. So let me know in the comments. All right, so uh, from this package, yeah, it's uh, it's opened, and the reason is I didn't know what this was when I got it because it didn't. It was from an individual seller, so it just had somebody's name. So I thought maybe it was a special edition or something. So I opened it up and I was like, "What is this?" And I was like, "Oh, this is the wish. These are the wish cards." So I have not looked in there. I saw like a couple cards. I don't even remember what they are anymore. So we're gonna pull them out and see what's inside. Okay, you guys see this is very interesting packaging. They're like taped up and they're sleeved in like multiples so it's honestly not a horrible way to do it but the problem is it was you know there's no protection or anything so they could have been damaged kind of easily so um it's gonna be a, an absolute nightmare to open these up you guys see this look at all this tape how are we gonna get into this like look at this i'm gonna have to take a knife and just cut down this way i think i think that's the only way this is all right this is starting off weird <laughs> Okay, so um, let's just try and <laughs> dissect these real quick without cutting any cards. Actually, wait, maybe I can pull this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is this going to unravel the entire... Okay, maybe not. Okay, <laughs> one piece down. All right, one piece down. Um, mini to go. Okay, let's try this part. Okay, two pieces of tape down. This has to be in the video because it's just part of the experience of buying on Wish. This guy like left it so you could tear it off. Like, there's so many, that could just go so wrong. You know, it just gets folded down in the package. Uh, doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Okay, but it's it's actually, not gonna lie, it's working out pretty good. Honestly, look at this. It actually worked out way easier than I thought it was going to. We got the four, you know, the four corners of the wish order separated. But now we're still taped. Oh, they're taped up here too. Oh my goodness. Um, these are not gonna be quite as easy. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this unpacking video. Um, I hope you like the sound of <laughs> untaping stuff because it's kind of painful, to be honest. But we're getting these cards out, guys. Put your guesses in the comments if you guys think that we're going to get any good card. Like, I'm talking, like, by good, I mean, like, five plus dollars. You know, not crazy, but, like, decent. So put your guesses in the comments. Will we get hollows? Will we get any hollows? We could get all comments, for all I know. Could you imagine if there's, like, a ghost in here or a starlight? Okay, we're just going to go one at a time. Actually, no, we're, we're going to unpack all these at the beginning. So just in case, you know, I'll probably skip through some of it so that you guys don't have to watch all of this because it's a little crazy. And uh, speaking of watching, if you guys did not see the PSA return video yesterday, you might want to check that one out. It was pretty crazy. Also, check out the uh, Every 10 opening from Saturday. That was a great one as well. We've had some pretty epic videos. Hope you guys have enjoyed them. Um, I think we're at 85K now. I'm recording this. We're like six, six subscribers short. So... Um, we're, we should probably be there by the time you guys see this, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So to celebrate, we're going to open up some wish cards. Okay. But yeah, seriously, um, we do have some big openings like the special edition opening is coming up. Don't forget about that. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then of course the hundred K special in a few months, whenever we get there, retro pack two is going to be awesome as well. Let's see what we can do here. We're getting close to being able to open these. Okay. First set of four. This might give us a clue. Maybe they're hidden in the middle. Maybe they're like packs. What do you guys think? You think there's packs? I've never even, have I ever seen this card? Probably because of Mega Pack 20, but I don't remember it. Hop Ear, Tinny. Let's see if there's any good cards in here. That's what we want. We're just looking for some good cards. It was only $38, Sunlight Wolf, cool. So I'm not expecting too much, to be honest. But you never know with these lots. Sometimes you get some decent cards. 
Let's see. We've got the World Chalice Guard Dragon. Uh, Dino Wrestler, Time Thief. Okay, a lot of new stuff. Will we will we see any old school cards? That's interesting. Uh, we might see some. Um, I'm guessing no so far, though. It looks like a lot of newer cards. We've got a Wicked Dreadroot. That's from uh, Ky Kaiko. Wow, this is very, uh, very new. This guy's still making it with all his bulk. <laughs> That's what it seems like. It's a strong chance that it's bulk, but... You never know if there's a, you know, something good slipped in. Super rare. We got a Medulce. We got Dino Wrestler. Yeah, so we got to see if uh, if we think these are like a scam or not, you know. Because $38 is a lot for some bulk, so we're going to find out. It's on Wish, so you know, it could either be awful or it could be amazing. You know, and that's kind of what we're looking for. Ostra the Southwind. Cybernetic Revolution. Cool, named after the uh, set. It's always nice. Prime Photon. Malefic Blue Eyes is pretty cool. It's just a common, but it is pretty cool. Decoy Dragon. That's my favorite card so far. We're, we're going to set out our favorite card and see what it's going to be. We are officially halfway through. So far, value is at about $0. <laughs> Maybe even lower. When you buy a bunch of... When you get a bunch of bulk, honestly, the bulk... Oh, wait! The bulk is like almost worth less than nothing because it just takes up space. But check this out. Battles of Legend Armageddon. I only opened like 30 boxes of this, so uh, we got a few things. But look at this. Ooh! Blue eyes. That's pretty cool. A green blue eyes. That's pr okay. All right. I think it's worth about a dollar. But hey, it's something. It's not nothing. Over Destiny. What is this? What is SDCH? I don't remember what that is. Is that like a deck or something? Ooh. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon from Dupo. Pot of the Pot of Awesome. Yeah. Okay, we got a Gravekeeper Spy. That's a cool card. Idol and Utopia and Utopia Ray. Alright, a little better. It was a little better. I can take that. It's definitely better than uh, what we were seeing, which was pretty rough. FA winners. We got the uh, Crusadia, Rainbow Refraction, Necrofusion, Altergeist. Alright. So so far only a few foils out of the whole thing, but um. That's kind of what we're expecting. We're hoping that it's not, but it might be. All right, we got a Chimera Tech over here. Or a, not Chimera Tech. Chimera, sorry. Too much power of the Duelist recently. Okay, Chimera. Gaia. Summon Skull. Curse of Dragon. These are cool old school. So we are getting some old school. They are from uh, Yugi's Legendary deck, so they're not like super rare or anything, but really cool. Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. The Feral Imp. Beaver Boy. Oh, this guy's classic. I love this guy. Griffor, the monster's tough hide, deflects almost any attack. Let's try another one. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a Stardust Spark over there. Very nice. It's from Dude. It's from uh, Dual Devastator. Mirror Force Launcher. We got the Magic Cylinder. Not bad, not bad. Rocket Recharger. Exploder Rocket Dragon. Check some. Auto Rocket Dragon. And Shell Rock Dragon. Okay, this looks like it has some foils in here. I mean, it's got one at least. So we got the start of Spark Dragon. Use this in my Duel Links deck with my blue eyes. Pretty cool. I have a ton of these uh, dude cards because I had like 15 of them back in the day. Ooh, Gandora X. Cool. It's from MVP1, so not super crazy or anything, but it's really nice. Sunsea Twin. We got the Abyss Megalo is a pretty decent card. Abyssius. Okay, they're not bad cards. Full Armored Lancer. Okay, halfway to forever. Oh, look, Duel of Saga, everyone's new favorite, old, old new favorite rarity. <laughs> Dimension Sphinx and a Deco Talker. Okay, Deco Talker. Pretty cool, it's from Dubo. All right, we got an Armed Sage. Okay, cool. Pharaonic Guardian, Hidden Springs. We got the Zero Maxwell. Oh, this guy is the guy who looks like the Otter from Pokemon. As for his Dog Tag and Binary Blader. Okay, Ancient Gear Frame. Interesting. Ancient Gear Frame. We got the Cyber Dark Edge. Reactor Dragon. Wait, what are these from? Legendary Duel Season 1. Mixer Roid. Tortoise. Legendary Ocean. Gear Golem. Sapphire Pegasus. Gear Golem. Oh, the real Gear Golem. Ancient Gear Golem. And the Cyber Deck. Cyber, Cyber Dark Claw. Okay. A few more of these left. Let's see if we can get anything crazy. So far, Blue Eyes with Green Text is our best. We got some Charmers here. A lot of Charmers. Nefariousness. We got a Gigabyte. Ran Ryu, Sleeper, and Rella. So far, our value is probably not there, but uh, we're still hoping for something big. We got a Scarlet Scourge, Mir, Dragesis, Dragon. We got a Volley, Spiritualist, Team, Moonslaw, Sinitus, and Tag Partner. 
All right, this looks like it has some Yugi's legendary decks in here. So let's see if there's anything cool like a hollow from the set. Giant Soldier of So. We got a Mammoth Graveyard. Karibo. Karibo. Swords of Revealing Light. Mystic Box. Brain Control. Monster Recovery. Spell Sh Oh. Where's the Mammoth Graveyard? Wait, is he in here? Oh, yeah. The Ultimate Combination Yu Gi Oh! The only way to defeat Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and still lose somehow. Right here. That's it. Even though I think it's called Living Arrow. I don't know if it's actually the same card, but uh, pretty close. All right, we got the Fairy Tale Luna. Let's see. The Dark Doriata, Witch of the Black Forest. Not a bad card. Ter oh, Terraforming. That's actually one of the better cards so far. Book of Eclipse. Um, and then we got the Spiritual Water Arts and Earth Art. Four more mini pack things, whatever you want to call these. We've got Photon Hand. So far, it looks like it's mostly bulk from newer sets. And not even great sets, to be honest. So, uh, that's what we're looking at for the most part. But it is Wish. Kind of what we expected. And I wonder what would happen if we bought a more expensive lot. You guys think we would get something actually good? Or you think it would just be a ton of this? It's hard to know. It's hard to know. So, it could be, could be a fun video. And Cyber Egg Angel. Dark Rose Factory. Alright, two more. Infinite cards, actually a pretty good one. Good reprint from Kaiko. Got the Cloud Castle. Ultimate Shield and Stardust. Zhang Long. And the final pack. So far, our best card is a Blue Eyes with Green Text. About a $1 card. Here we go. Only spent 38 though, so not that expensive. Ancient Cloak. Here we go. We got our Phantom Knights. All right, yeah, I was playing with this the other day. Look at that. Silent Boots. Look at all these. Kurenai, Miyabi, Asa, Area. Hita and win. So, overall, should you buy cards from Wish based on this experience? I'm going to have to go with no because most of this bulk is worth about nothing <laughs> for the most part. Almost all the cards are probably worth a couple bucks. So, spent 38, got a couple bucks back. Could happen if you buy packs as well. You could buy and get nothing, but I like your chances at buying packs and potentially pulling something rather than potentially getting something good in here. It is pretty fun though to check it out. Maybe sometime we'll do a more expensive one and maybe they'll be, you know, upgraded to actually have hollows in them. I mean, there's only like a few hollows in the entire thing. This was a lot of fun to do though because, you know, I've never bought any I've never bought anything at all on Wish. So, I've seen some funny stuff come out of there and I hope you guys enjoyed it. My wish for epic Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um didn't really come true. So, maybe next time. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!